What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week, you don't wanna miss them. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Antonio Webb, a fifth year orthopedic surgery resident. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about some things that I hate about being a doctor. Whatever field that you go into, whether you're going into law or engineering or anything in the STEM industry or teacher, you're gonna have certain aspects of your job that you just absolutely hate. And this video is not to discourage anyone about going into medicine. It's not to tell you that you shouldn't do it or trying to discourage you from reaching your dreams. It's essentially just letting everyone know that here are some things that you need to think about. Medicine is a great field, it's a great career. If I had to do it all over again, I would definitely do it. But there are some things that I just don't like. And maybe hate is a very strong word, and maybe it's, I should use a much slim, simpler word, but uh, here are some things that I hate about being a doctor. Number one is the hours. The hours can be crazy. Compared to any other job out there that I can think of, I can't think of any other job that works more hours than doctors. During your training, which is when you'll work most of these hours, it can be anywhere between three to nine years of training, depending on if you're going into like emergency medicine or pediatrics, all the way up to neurosurgery, which can be up to nine years or some surgeons that I know are doing plastic surgery after general surgery residency, this can be up to nine years. I have a friend who's a PGY-10, and it's crazy that you're in training for such a long time, but during your training, you can expect to work up to 80 hours a week, 80 plus hours. So this definitely can take a toll on you over the years, and near the end of my training, looking back, hours were crazy. You know, you're, you're up at two or three o'clock in the morning, you're doing surgery, seeing patients in the ER, you're, you know, eight o'clock comes around, you're back in clinic or you're doing other things. And, you know, this takes a lot of time away from your family, from your friends and from things that you want to do during your youthful years, during these twenties and thirties when you should be out enjoying life uh, while your friends who went to a four-year college and are out in the workforce and they are enjoying life. So hours are crazy. When you get out of training, I hear that they get a little bit better, but still, you know, you'll be working a lot of hours. And what a lot of people don't know is when you are in medical school, you come into medical school as a first year medical student, you're at the bottom of the totem pole, your first year. The fourth years are, are walking around campus like they're the big shots. And they're like, man, we made it. Everybody <laughs> made it. I'm the, I'm the king. I'm a senior. And they try to put a ring to that. But um, when you get to your residency, it starts all over. You're an intern. You're at the bottom of the totem pole, the lowest person, you know, in that kind of medical uh, chain. So, and you have to work your way up again. And as a fifth year resident, as a chief resident or a senior resident, you feel like you made it. I'm like, man, I'm, I made it. And then when you get out into practice, either private practice or academics, after you finish your fellowship, or if, even if you don't do a fellowship, you're at the bottom of the totem pole again. You take the most amount of call, you get the patients that, you know, that uh, most challenging cases and things as such. So it never ends. So the hours are crazy. That's one thing I do not like or I hate about, you know, being a doctor, but I chose this field. I love what I do, and uh, there's something I just have to live with. So the second thing that I don't like or I hate about being a doctor is the politics. There are lots of different politics in medicine where different insurance companies are having doctors operate or see patients or manage patients in a certain way based off of their recommendations. A lot of insurance companies have no or little knowledge about medicine and they're directing doctors how to prescribe medications, which medications a patient should get, which surgery a patient should get. It's crazy. Um, and when insurance companies are 
competing against each other, it just creates a system that is not the best system uh, for medicine. So a lot of different politics in medicine. I'm not a big fan of it, but um, it's just part of the job, I guess. The next thing that I hate about being a doctor is the amount of schooling that you have to do in order to be a full-fledged doctor. 14 years to become a surgeon, four years of college, four years of medical school, five years of surgery training, and an additional year of fellowship, plus or minus, for an orthopedic surgeon. Neurosurgeon could be up to 15 or 16 years. Plastic surgery could be 14, 15 years. That's a long time, and that's almost half of your your life. If you're in your mid-30s, when you or 35, let's say, when you come out of training, you've been in school for, you know, 20 plus years, including high school. So the schooling is very long. I would um, recommend or I, I would suggest that you look into PA school or nurse practitioner school if you want to do something in medicine, but you just don't want to go through the number of years that it takes to be a full fledged doctor. So the next thing that I hate about being a doctor is the scrutiny that doctors are placed upon. As a doctor, you're expected to know everything. And even if you don't know something or if you make a mistake, people judge you in a certain way because they expect you to do better. And I understand that doctors go through a lot of training, a, long number of, of, of years of schooling, but we're human, just like everyone else. We make mistakes, we may not know everything, we may not know that new medication that's out there, but we may not know kind of something that you present and you may ask us or, oh, I can't believe you don't know this. Uh, you're a doctor, you should know this. I've heard that over and over again and it just infuriates me, um, but you put on a lot of pressure, uh, you have a lot of responsibility, and I think um, there's really close scrutiny on doctors, which uh, I don't en really enjoy that part of, and I, I really appreciate that people and patients, they want their doctor to be the smartest and be the best and to know everything, but that's almost impossible. It's, it's impossible to know simply everything. The last thing that I hate about being a doctor, which I can think of right now, is the cost to become one. The average medical student comes out of medical school with two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars in student loans, and on these student loans, the interest rate is crazy. You can get a mortgage loan or a house loan for a lower interest rate than what you can get a student loan. The federal government that you know, loans these uh, this money to students to go to school and the cost of tuition that is so high, it's ridiculous. Like coming out of school with $300,000 in debts just to go out there and try to help others, you know, in the community or rural areas or to give back to your community, you shouldn't have to go in this much debt. You know, I have a lot of viewers and subscribers from other countries, and they can attest to the fact that in their country, school is usually free or at a minimal cost, and then you can work at a institution or this place to, you know, pay back that time that they uh, afforded you for your school. But I think the cost of education in this country, the cost, the fact that you can get a mortgage loan with an interest rate of two to three percent or three percent four percent and then your student loans are seven eight nine percent it's ridiculous that's you know that's i don't like that aspect of uh being a doctor so these are some things that i hate about being a doctor um but overall i think it's a great feel at the end of my training i looking back i wouldn't change you know much at all I have a video about, you know, the mistakes that I've made during my training, during my residency, and I'll put it right up here. I also have another video about, you know, the student loan process and 
how much money I owe in student loans and my thoughts in that process. And I'll provide all those links to, to you in the description, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can take something away from it. Like I said, this is not to discourage anyone from going into medicine, just letting you know my thoughts, where I stand, looking at it from a 360 uh, bird's eye view about this whole process of becoming a doctor. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.